all right what is up guys and welcome back to another video man and i hope you guys are having an amazing wonderful day and if you're not i hope you do after this video you see you guys can see by the title and thumbnail we are going to talk about all the mods and future mods that i plan to do and that i have done to my 2023 m5 comp so starting off with the first mod that i ever did to this car first mod because i was so scared to void the warranty and not mess up the warranty the first mod is going to be my Aventuri intakes now these are the best intakes in my opinion i like the front mount intakes but i don't like how they look you know what i'm saying like i don't know i don't i like my car to be a sleeper you know what i'm saying like if you know it's modded it's modded but if you don't then you don't you know what i'm saying so that's why i went the with, with the carbon uh v2 eventuri intakes and i'm just waiting on my inlets to get in and then we're gonna have the full setup but right now all i have is the intakes which is fine i ain't really stressing about it um so i just want y'all to listen to these things man i want y'all to hear how good they sound like yeah the front mounts do sound better because they're way more exposed but even these man they sound so good and they're the most performance based my uh performance based intakes as well but go ahead and get a single listen sound good or what for for what they are and you know they are a little pricey but i think they sound pretty good like if you listen for it and you can hear it they sound pretty good um obviously sometimes it gets overpowered by the exhaust so you can't hear it as much but i don't care the second mod that i did to this car was the because i was this at this time i was still worried about warranty um so I wasn't going too much for performance. I was going more for cosmetics when I went with this, but I did the IND cosmetic package. Now with that came spacers, um, the lowering spring kit. Okay, thank you for stopping on your brakes right there. The lowering spring kit, um, it came with the reflectors in the back that are blacked out. So you, I'll show you guys those on the diffuser. It's blacked out. It used to be red. Me personally, I didn't like the red reflectors. So now I got the blacked out honeycomb ones. Um, it also came with the front uh, marker delete as well, which it used to be orange and it serves no purpose. So now that is skyscraper gray, the color of the car, which I think it just does it. It literally does it. That the marker delete just looks so good in my opinion. Um, and I believe that's all that it came with. But so the car is sitting on the IND performance package, which I think is a great package. You get the springs, you get the um, spacers, the reflectors, front and rear. And I think that's it in the cos cosmetic package. Move on to some performance mods that I have done. I still have not done a lot, but I still have some performance mods. Um, right now we have down pipes. Um, uh, and to accompany the down pipes, we have a full.
exhaust as well. Um, it is switch path. You have to get the switch path, switch path one to re, re, uh, retain the valves feature. So if you want your valves to still open and close while having an aftermarket exhaust, you have to get switch path. Thirdly, I don't know if y'all consider this a mod or not, but the stars in the roof, man, it's got to be my favorite thing. It's literally got to be my favorite thing. I don't know, like, this just does it for me. I love the stars in the roof. It just, that, I don't know if y'all consider that a mod. I, I would consider a mod, modification. Um, so that's another thing I have done is the stars in the roof, as you guys know. That's pretty much all the mods I currently have done to the car. Um, and now we can really move in to future mods. So future mods, I would like to make this car a lot of horsepower. I'm talking like a lot of horsepower. So I'm hoping, not hoping, in the future, I plan to go pure turbos, which will run me around like eight to 10 grand um, for pures. And then um, after pure turbos, I do want to switch out my exhaust. Like I love this exhaust for the price and you get your bank you get the bank for your buck for it but i want to go full valtronic exhaust and i want to switch the down pipes as well to fi down pipes um just because i think those sound insane i don't i know it's just a piece of metal and it really doesn't matter but i do want to switch the down pipes and the exhaust um secondly i would i definitely got to get some more cosmetic ones so I want to do a uh, front lip. Uh, what else do I want besides the front lip? The end performance. The end performance front lips look so good. Like I'm talking like chef kiss. The end performance diffuser. The end performance spoiler. And what else? I think that's and obviously for wheels, I want HRE the HRE SC 101 wheels and I want them in gold which I'll insert a picture so y'all can see I think that's all I really want to do um I definitely want to retint the windows too because these windows are like are not it also like to upgrade the speakers now I wish I got the Bauer and Wilkins and y'all know that was one of my complaints if you watch five things I dislike about my car the speakers I would really really like to have um an upgraded sound system just the door speakers not subs or anything like that just door speakers i would love to have that just because it'd be it, are you gonna stop or what bro jeez just because i like loud music holy cow came off this dude's car. Jeez, sucks. All right, guys, those are my current modifications and my future modifications plans um, for the F90 M5. If anything comes along or anything that I can think of, I'll update you guys and let you guys know. But if you think I should mod something else or if I should change something else, I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below what else should I add to the mod list or what should I not do as far as the mod list that I got concerned. I like to hear you guys' opinion. I like to know what you guys think. Um, I mean, just let me know, you know? But that is it for today's video, man. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, amazing day. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for always tuning in, liking, subscribing, and showing so much love and support, man. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Peace.